Hey guys and girls, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video and another episode of Jurassic Park Season 2. So, today guys, we're going to be adding in some more Gallimimus, doing a bit more work. We're also going to, at some point, go and get some signs so we can label some of the new exhibits I've worked on, so a bit of the progress I've made, just so I can remember. And then as we go through, we're going to go round in a circle and finish off in the middle with the Sora Poseidon. But without further ado, guys, let's get on to the Gallimimus enclosures so as you guys can see you guys know from last episode if you haven't there'll be a link in the top right hand corner in the eye of the video to go, so go and check that out uh, but pretty much we've got 16 gallimimus eggs to go and hatch in this area here we've got a massive area massive jungled area which i'm just going to throw all these gallimimus eggs in because i just thought it'd be a nice good thing to do it'll look nice and it'll just be effective overall so i thought why the heck not so that's what we're going to be doing in today's episode beautiful now we're not going to give any names for these gallimimus uh, we could do potentially i mean it would be good if we did but i think there's just a few too many to quite give names for i'm gonna have to surround these aren't i i'm gonna have to surround these around me uh, how many is that going across five that's going across four there we go five one two three four five so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We should have about 14. 14, 15, 16, however many. Well, basically we've got 5, 4, so 9, 4 there, 13, and 3 there, 16. Yep, that's fine. So we've got 16 in total. Now, I do have my Dinopedia on me, which is good. Are they okay? Good. Um, so pretty much I put all you know the extra bit of work I've done is all I've done is pretty much added in a pool and obviously placed up all of these plants which I don't know if you guys actually saw last episode I don't believe you did but this is what the enclosure looks like now personally I'm quite happy with it I've kind of gone for this fence theme all the way around the exhibit as you can see over there there's still a bit there and obviously you can see here going across we've used kind of a normal fence routine I just thought it'd be good to have a normal fence here and then just kind of have the separations pardon me as this sort of fence build so I thought it's quite basic it's quite simple but it looks effective so why the heck no now um once these have hatched which one is the last one on 52 52 52 52 67 okay so pretty much over there we're going to be working on a triceratops enclosure with we're going to have I believe between six and eight triceratops, two ankylosaurs, um, a few gallimimus, and potentially a few more chucked in there. Just thought it'd be nice to have a bit of a mixture thrown in there, maybe one or two parasaurs. Who knows? I just thought it'd be quite nice to have in there, in general, as a bit of a change. So, how are you doing? Are you almost there? You're almost there, ready? Start shaking now. There we go. So yeah, then they're all going to start and eventually shake. What's this one on? 78. See so yeah, that one shake. Ready? It's like a massive group going around. But pretty much, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Now I'm going to go over and show you guys what I've done so far. I haven't really done too much. I've kind of just flattened out the land, added in a bit of water. I forgot how tall these Gallimimus actually were at birth. As long as they're all hatching. What are you on? What are you going to say? There we go, there we go, we go, there we go, there we go, and there we go. Beautiful. So we have an absolute ton of Gallimimuses, which are all going to roam around this area, which I thought was quite nice to work with. I believe they're all tamed. Yeah, they should all be tamed. So let me know a mixture of male and female names, guys. If I can get round to it, I will. If not, I won't. I just think when, like, at this age, they'll look quite cute. I don't know what they'll look like when they're older whether they'll look nice or not. I know I've uh, put feathers on, I don't know whether it'll look nice with them all running around. Personally, I think it will, I think it'll look quite good, but who knows what's gonna happen. But the idea generally is, you know, you'll just be walking across, walking across, walking across, and then you'll see a flock of Gallimimus all running around, which I don't actually have a clue where they've gone to. So that kills the concept really quickly. The idea is you'd walk around and you'd kind of be able to see them no matter what. Which means I may have to hatch a few more Gallimimus as they have all decided to depart around to this area. 
I think they've kind of come out of the little flock formation, which is good as well. So yeah, that looked nice um, once they've grown a little bit and you know they've got a bit more room. I would leave them just to hatch and just keep hatching. I think I probably will hatch a few more in the future depending on how it goes. But for now, I think we're just going to leave it as it is. I think that's fair enough. So moving on around to here, we have our ankylosaurs. You guys left me a few names which I need to check for. But we've got two there and one just around here, I believe. Maybe? I don't know. But yeah, we're going to come around to this area here where we're going to chuck in... I'm not believe what... I don't know, actually. I don't know what I want to put in here. I really don't know. We need something decent in here. It's going to be quite a nice little exhibit. Quite open. Mm, what could we put in here? Let me know some suggestions, guys. What could go in here and how many. Then, obviously, we're going to have the Herrerasaurus over this way. I think this will look quite nice. I've pretty much done the whole exhibit up as it is. It just needs to put them in, which we'll do next episode. And then if we come around here, as you guys can see, we have a nice little pond here which I've worked on. I need to exchange this out for grass. Uh, then we've got quite a lot of distance to work on. Now I'm thinking of stopping the exhibit at that hill there, or maybe just before that, and adding in an absolute ton of things. One second, guys. Right, sorry about that, guys. Now, as I was saying, pretty much uh, what we're going to be doing with this exhibit is throwing in a mixture of different dinosaurs. Now, oh, we've got an egg. Oh, that was useless. So, the idea is I want to hopefully have this extended quite a way back. Um, just so you know we've got a bit of room I want to probably put in a few parasaurs to kind of graze in the pool just give it that aesthetic appeal to have a few triceratops have a few gallimimus running around a few stegosaurs and a few ankylosaurs I just thought it would be quite nice to have this but predominantly I want it to be triceratops I want to have at least 8 triceratops running around approximately 2 or 3 parasaurs only 2 ankylosaurs and then just another flock of gallimimus about 6 or 7 I think so from there we're going to move around to here now to here we're probably going to have the exhibit going all the way to about here ish we'll have it to about here before we then start and head off in that direction and put a massive exhibit here but so we'll probably go to the coal block there cut this off and make this into an exhibit it's kind of fit for a carnivore and i'm kind of feeling that we're going to keep this hill involved definitely yeah, we're definitely going to keep the hill involved. And the idea is, I think we're going to throw a few Velociraptors in here. So it'll be like, they'll be from back So they'll be from back here as soon as I've finished filling in that. They'll be from back here and they'll kind of just come around here, have a look. And then they'll peek around and then maybe sometimes they'll come out here and down and around. Which I think will be quite cool to look at. So that's something I'm going to be working on. I'll probably change the fence design based on them being Velociraptors and probably make... the probably make them well make it a bit more of a, a protective fence because there isn't really much else you can do with that exhibit so in terms of that there isn't really too much to do so once we've kind of finished this exhibit obviously we've just got to cut off a few areas I'm going to change that and hopefully get rid of all the snow we're going to be walking around into this area here oh I forgot to fill this up and fill that up we're going to walk into this area which we're going to put a load of Sauri Poseidons in then we're going to have a massive exhibit here walk around this way hopefully either just link it straight back up and have one large exhibit coming right round link it back up to here and carry on that way or we're going to do something else now in terms of the backboard I want to throw in um, a Dilophosaurus I want to put in a Carnotaurus and what else? There was one more. I think it was a herbivore. I can't remember what it was. But basically I wanted to spread this out just so we could have a bit of a solid backboard to work with and I thought it would be quite nice. So that's kind of the general plans in what we have. So I say so, such a mu so much recently. Oh, look at him. This is so adorable. Look at him. They're great. I like that. That looks nice. It's, a, it's aesthetically pleasing, as you'd say. So, pretty much from there, we're going to move forward, and then we're probably going to, from that area, kind of replicate that in a similar sense a bit further around, working with predominantly more carnivore-related dinosaurs, but I don't really want to work on that too much as of yet. I kind of want to keep that 
you know I just want to keep it as it is right now and work at one thing at a time so one thing we definitely have to do is work on the alligator guard exhibit in terms of placing a few alligator guards in and then moving around this way I want to improve the Mosasaurus enclosure purely because we've got one all the way down there as you can see and then we've got one just wait we've got one just there so it's not brewing I kinda want them to swim around a lot more and then we've got to think oh still so got to finish this area here we've got to work on the Tylosaur area and then you know we've just got to, just got to tidy the place up a little bit and I'm hoping by June, uh, June slash July, I'll be able to start and make progress on a new exhibit. I've already got a few ideas on what I want to work on and kind of, you know, build from. So it's a good sort of starting point to have. Now, kind of from this area forward, I want to be able to really sort of expand the park's um, sort of amount of dinosaurs we have. As you can see here, we have one Hinodus, two Hinodus enclosures I want to work on maybe three maybe four ichthyosaurs making a different type of ichthyosaur enclosure obviously we've still got to finish the lab the ceratosaurus enclosure I think we're going to probably add in two more ceratosaurs at some point in the future I'm not too sure as of when though obviously we've got the pachycephalosaurus to add in which I think you know what we'll go and do that now because I know I've got them ready so we may as well go and add them in so let me know two pachycephalosaurus names obviously you'll find out the genders of them soon but make sure guys to let me know what should go in that exhibit because I do need a few ideas as I'm not too sure now preferably medium to large size herbivores or you know medium to large size dinosaurs get creative with it guys get creative and also I need to know what should go in here because it's really starting to get on my nerves knowing that there absolutely isn't anything in there but yeah so we're going to make our way around here and see what we can do from this point onwards. Now let's quickly do this. And there we go. Perfect. Obviously we've got the dry saws running around in here with the Confucius Saurus, which always looks nice. I do, if I do say so myself. And then we're going to walk around to here and place in the Pachycephalosaurus and that will pretty much be today's episode in a nutshell because we haven't really got too much to do so next episode we're going to be working obviously on the Herrerasaurus enclosure these Pachycephalosaurus grow to a real real large height I'm hoping it's they're all right yeah they're fine so yeah Look at the size of these pachycephalosaurs. I didn't even realise they grew this huge. Look at them. Gets a quick screenshot. Don't, don't, don't do this to me. Stay. Stay where you are. They look good. Regardless of anything, they look really good. So, that's kind of the idea. Now, I do want... I, originally, I wanted to have three pachycephalosaurs, but I did intend on hatching four at some point. Well, having four. So I thought, why not just do it straight away? Plus, I had the extra Pachycephalosaurus egg, so I thought, you know what? It's worth doing. Why not do it? Have a good laugh with it and just see what we can get out of it. So that's what we've done. Now, hmm. I want to change the Parasaurolophus exhibit an awful lot. I said I was going to back uh, this part off, which I'm going to do. I'm also going to probably move that bit to equal this section here and kind of just make it look a lot neater because that hill is a right pain and it really just killed the kind of the idea I'm working with what what did I name you what was your name are you a male as well yeah you are I could do with two females I really could do with two females or four males I don't want to have just one female why are you this close to the eggs? I know you're very protective, but come on. I I brought them I brought them here. Not you. Yes. I'm staring you down in the face. You have a really lovely eye. So that's kind of the idea. Can we see how close Jesus? Hello. So yeah, that's kind of what we're gonna be doing. Now in terms of the Ark Survival series, I did die off camera when I was loading up the world. I loaded up the world and there was... What was it? What 
killed me. Was it an Allosaurus? Yeah, I think it was an Allosaurus killed me. So it obviously wasn't brilliant, but you know. Oh, when it starts to hatch, you run away. Really? Let's get ready to hatch. Um, so yeah, pretty much that's what happened. I went to hatch. Uh, sorry, I went. I just loaded up the game and there was Allosaurus in front of me. It was not happy and it killed me. More or less. They look like two females to me. They are two females. That's perfect. Let me know two female names for Pachycephalosaurs. And let me know two male names as well as I forgot them. You are under my control. Which is awesome. But guys, apart from that, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed. I know it's not been brewing. It's been quite short. But it's better than nothing. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Let me know your kind of thoughts and opinion, opinions on what's going on. Let me know where I can improve. But apart from that, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.